back with a new video and it's called the Pizza Maniac Tag. First of all, I'm so sorry that I haven't posted a video in such a long time because I was busy with my college life. Second, I've always wanted to do this challenge because I've been listening to the Beatles for well, you will know later. I'm going to be honest, I don't listen to them as often as I used to before. Now, it's about like two or three weeks or even four weeks that I haven't listened to them. So I think this um, video and this, the questions that I'm going to answer later, it's going to be useful to bring back um, the Beatles knowledge that I have gained um, throughout these years of Van Harding over them. So. Let's move on to the video. I'm going to answer 22 questions all about the Beatles because duh, this is the Beatle Maniac tag, right? And before answering those questions, I just want to show you that I am wearing this cute shirt. It's the rubber sole. This, okay, we will talk about it later. I didn't get tagged, but it says I want to do this question. And these questions I got from a youtuber and also a bit of maniac which I will uh, link her channel down below so let's just move on to the question so uh, the first question is when or how did you first hear of the Beatles oh my goodness I could be such a long answer because okay let's just get straight into the point so I first discovered the Beatles and I first heard them was when I was in elementary school it was just probably like fifth or sixth grader I was like 10 or 10 years old so I went through my family's computer because I found this uh, music folders I found like the Beatles songs and um, there were I wanna hold your hand till there was you um, and you know just like some typical popular Beatles songs so and I listened to them and I was like, okay, but then um, I, thought I had always known that my brother was into the Beatles or at least uh, he listened to the Beatles and my father, my dad, listened to them as well. In fact, like his tone right now is the Beatles. It's hella good, right? And then back when he was in high school, he put these Beatles posters all over his bedroom walls, which is kind of a song. That's the first time that I heard a new of the Beatles 10 or 9 years ago. So yeah, let's move on to the second question. When or how did you start getting into the Beatles? Okay, this is going to be such an awkward answer. Yeah, so I met this guy back in junior high. I was probably 13. So and he's always been a bit of maniac, like real maniac. And then like I remember that he used to give me some Beatles songs and like sing them for me. The first Beatles songs that he sang for me was um, "And I Love Her." And then oh my gosh, um, the lyrics were beautiful. Especially like I thought that oh my gosh, Paul McCartney is actually hot. So uh, I was like okay, and then I went to his house and then we played the Nintendo Wii and we played rock band, Beatles rock band, something like that and then like oh yeah and I love her got me but then it got me really hard or like really harder like make me oh my god this band is freaking beautiful like it's here comes the sun man here comes the sun is the bomb that's like that was um, how and when uh, did I start getting into the Beatles? It was, it was like six years ago. Okay, now on to the third question. Favorite Beatle? Oh my goodness. I can't. Oh my god. Like, I've always known the answer, but it's just I'm always excited to talk about him. Oh my goodness. Okay. So my favorite Beatle is the quiet Beatle, the almighty George freaking Harrison. Now on to the fourth question. Do you play an instrument yourself? If so, what instrument? <laughs> okay, so I can play guitar but it's not like expert but I'm not an expert. I can um, play the typical chords. For this holiday, I'm planning to learn how to play ukulele. So, 
Okay, now on to the fifth question. Favorite Beatles song at the moment? I need you and it's on Little Love. Okay, um, now on to the sixth question. Favorite Beatles album at the moment? My all time favorite, Rubber the Soul and Help. Yeah. Seven question. Do you remember the first Beatles song you heard? Yes, the first one that I the, the really first one that I heard was um to I wanna hold your hand. Eight question. How much Beatles merchandise do you own? I don't say that I have a lot of Beatles merchandise because uh, I don't I don't and so I have a Beatles white t-shirt when they were in Paris and then like there was this um grey Beatles t-shirt which just shows like um that self portrait of um, each Beatle and then I have this one, Rubber Soul, and then I have another one in the black one as well. It's like the Beatles with dollar, um, dollar money, some stuff like that. And um, with the Beatles white crop tee, and then um, one pink t-shirt with like when they were swimming um, right there. So for more Beatles and Oasis and After Monks collection, you can just go to the, to the video, to my old video, which I will link down below. Okay, now on to the ninth question. How many Beatles albums do you own? I only own three, so I don't think I really deserve to be called Beatlemania. On to the 11th question, how is your Liverpool accent? I'm just going to be honest, like I don't have a certain accent. Yeah, I don't have an accent and I am not interested in learning like Liverpool accent because I think that's just very hard and I really hate it when I'm trying to be someone that I am not. Like for example, I, um, I'm i trying so hard to be a Liverpool Dillian. Is, is this one to go or? But it's just like, I hate forcing it, you know. So my Liverpool accent is really bad. Now, on to the 12th question. Who was the most underestimated Beatle? Oh my god, isn't that obvious? Um, George and Ringo. Uh, specifically George. Because the question, do you think the Beatles curtain should be brought back to ABC on Saturday mornings? To be honest, I'm not subscribed to ABCs. What's the point if uh, um, if the curtain is still on on ABC on stream mornings? Uh, doesn't affect me enough. Um, except I think I'm as well just go watch it on YouTube. Fourteenth question: One and one and one is. I don't know. I think it's two or three. Tenth question: Can you name every Beatle and their birth? Dates right off the top of your head. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm reading the question. I don't have any clue or whatsoever. Okay, so I'm gonna start with John. John was born in Liverpool, um, October 9th, 1940. Paul was born in Liverpool, June 18th. 1942. Yeah, George was born in Liverpool, um, February 25th, um, 1943. And then Ringo was born in Liverpool, wait, July 7th, July 7th, um, 1940. I'm pretty sure that is right because. I'm so good at remembering birthdays. 16th question. What is the best thing about the Beatles? Like the lyrics um, were all written beautifully. I guess you can say that in a very ordinary way with all the respect. Like every lyric that they created is quotable. Um, the music is just like, it's very touching. What makes them the best is that this is the best reason personally. Like the, the Beatles have their every song for every goddamn condition. Whether you are happy being in love or you just want to like even from every aspect like politics, culture, social culture and yeah, it's just beautiful. Now on to the another 
exciting question. Seventeenth question. What would you do if you were a teenager in 1964 and got to meet the Beatles? Oh my gosh. Like, what is this question? Okay, so I'm going to be fan harding and fan grilling really hard. Like, oh my god, it's such a like a hard question to answer. Yeah, yeah, I know. Of course, I'm going to be fan grilling and fan harding. It would just to think about it, it gives me chills. And oh my god, like I can't, I can't hold the excitement in my chest. 18th question, have you seen every Beatles movie? So yeah, so I've seen A Hard Day's Night and Help and Let It Be but I haven't seen Magical Mystery Tour. 19th question, do you have any friends who are Beatles maniacs? Yes, I have. 20th question, what modern band do you like? So the Strokes right there, I don't know if you guys can see but that is my pillow right there. But um, the one that is my time freaking favorite to strokes as well is arctic freaking monkeys i've been listening to them since late um 2011 or early 2012. 21st question who is the greatest band of all time of course it is the Beatles because not because this is like a the Beatle mania attack but because they completely know what they are doing and they deliver their thoughts and ideas into music beautifully. Their music has successfully touched people's souls. That's what makes them the best and the greatest band in the whole wide world. And last question is who was the walrus? John? Okay guys, so that's it for the, the Beatle Maniac tag. Oh my god, like I had so much fun answering all those questions. Yeah, okay guys, so before I end the video, I really want to show you um, because it is Beatles related. Um, I have this, like I have this Beatles poster that I put above my head, not literally above my head, but I put it above, well, right above my head on the bedroom wall just so that I can watch it every day before I go to sleep and it's right there but, mm -hmm. favorite right here <laughs> yeah and also guys I'm so sorry for the noise that you have been uh, hearing and listening to ever since this video started it is my air conditioner and it just can't shut up because it hasn't been repaired for months and I'm so sorry so, um, yeah thank you so much you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe uh, if you want me to um, talk more about this band or things that I like besides makeup like you guys can also do this if you feel like you are a beetle maniac or at least you listen to the beetles it's okay i tag everyone that is watching this video yeah i'll see you in my next video so bye bye